Hi, Scott Lionthal here, Chain Dragon Race Products. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to present the Real Throttle System. This is one of the throttle programs that we made for the overhead valve race engines and we have a breakdown of parts and we're going to show you the parts breakdown and the installation on an engine. So as we look down at the parts, you're going to see this is the throttle mount right here that holds the throttle cable, the throttle cable mount. And you'll notice it has a short bolt and uh, a spring washer, a lock washer. As we come over in row two, you're going to see the fuel pump mount. And the fuel pump mount is so that when you take and put it on the engine, it will sit in the airflow from the fan on the top of the engine and always have airflow moving over it. So if the cart stops, even though the engine's running, you'll have air moving over the throttle, uh, throttle mount plate and everything. Great point about this is, the throttle system is you can put the four hole square wall bro on it. You can put the two hole round wall bro and you can also use the Briggs pump on here as well. A little different thing for the fuel lines so. though. Then we'll come over to the reel. The reel system is very unique because it's an, a radial system that has a push pull set of rods that pushes and pulls and rotates like that and that's what activates the throttle position arm on the uh, carburetor. Also you have multiple push-pull rods that are designated with colors. If you take a look at this, there's yellow, blue for the blue clone, straight rod for the pull rod for the throttle and the throttle return spring and the hardware that goes with it. Bushing, bolt, and if you notice the bolts when we looked at these, a little longer bolt with a spring washer, spring collar lock washer, and miscellaneous uh, washers. Then we come over and we have an option. The option is the ATM. The ATM is very unique because when you use the ATM, what you have is a replacement for an l bracket, and this portion of the ATM stays with the throttle cable. So whatever engine you use, all you have to do is take one bolt out and make the change for that. And you see the arrow? The arrow is, that's what designates which way the, uh, your brass fits in or your, your fittings so you know exactly where you're going to go. What we're going to do is put one of these together and put it on the engine and we'll be back in a second. 